Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got the Toro E24 60 volt full electric snowblower. If you've seen my previous videos, I did an unboxing and assembly of this snowblower. But the very next day I did that video, we actually got four to five inches of snow here. So what I'm going to do is take advantage of that and I'm going to blow my driveway with it and see how this machine makes out. Now this machine comes with two batteries, but there's the option of putting a third one. I've only got two batteries in it right now. They're fully charged and we'll see if two batteries will be enough to do my driveway. So what I'll be doing here is everything behind my pickup truck all the way to the street. It's a fairly big driveway. We don't have that much snow actually. Four to five inches is not that much. So obviously it's going to use a lot less battery power because there's not that much snow and it looks quite fluffy. But before I get going here, I want to show you the echo feature so once you turn your your uh i was gonna say once you turn your engine on but once you turn the machine on like this and turn it to run you can set the echo mode by pushing it this will use less battery when doing your driveway so if you don't have much snow you can do it that way i'm going to i'm going to start off with full speed so you can see how far the snow blows out of the chute and by the way, before making the video today, I fully charged the batteries inside the house so they would be kept warm. Okay, so I'm going to get started here. First, turn the machine on to here. Let it fire up here. Everything comes online. Then turn it to the run position.
Okay, so I'm done my driveway. We didn't have that much snow, by the way, and the plow did not go by, so I didn't have to blow what the plow usually leaves behind. So if the plow had gone by, that would have taken considerable amounts of battery just to clear that. And now let's check where we're at with the batteries after doing my driveway. So there's two little dots left. So the batteries are half done and I've done my driveway with about four to five inches of snow and it was fluffy snow so it was easy to blow. I would highly recommend to get the third battery no matter what size of driveway you have. That's just my opinion. Then you won't really have to worry about your batteries getting too low like this. But overall, this is an awesome machine. As you can see in the video there, it was blowing just like a regular machine and it didn't really slow down at all. If you get a lot of snow, guys, just drive it in the first or second gear. Uh, then your machine will be able to keep up with blowing all that snow. And also, before you use this machine, guys, if you keep it in a garage, just take it outside, let it cool down for a bit, just so that it's the same temperature as outdoor. And the reason you want to do that is so that the snow doesn't stick on your augers and make it harder for the snow to come out of the chute. But overall, I'm pretty impressed. It did a really good job. It's super quiet. You don't have to worry about waking up your neighbors if you do your driveway really early in the morning. And there's no gas to mess around with. You don't need to start it up like a regular gas engine. It's so much easier. So this will be it for the video, guys. But I have to say that I am impressed with the machine. It does not feel cheap. It's just like your average machine with a gas engine, except it's got an electric motor on it. And it's nice that it's quiet, there's no exhaust fumes, no gas, no need to start, to start up the engine. But again, if you have a bigger driveway, you might want to get the bigger machine that's electric. And you might want to get all the batteries to fill up the compartment. So this one comes with two, you can put three, and I would recommend to get the third battery and put it in. So let me know what you think about this machine in the comments, and also if you own this machine, please comment below and let us know how you like the machine. Thanks for watching and make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and that you follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and have a great day.